It's been a minute, but we are back now. I felt like the best way for me to come back on my channel for the new year is to share a little bit of a life update and where I've been because we have some big news and a big announcement to share with you guys. I can't wait to share this process with you guys. You guys are going to love it. But before we do that, I feel like we need to rewind things and take you back in time a little bit to see where I've been, what I've been doing, what I've gone through, and where we are today. So stay till the end for our big announcement and let's catch up. I'm about to go out and run some errands, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing. That is my son in the background. Um, but before I go out and run my errands, of course, I'm going to take you guys with me, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing because what I'm wearing are some new pieces that I'm going to be showing in a Zara haul coming up. And then when we get home later, I'm going to show you guys the rest of the items that I picked up from Zara for the haul that I'm doing. But for now, I'll show you what I'm wearing. So we're in my very messy room right now, which we're going to be cleaning up together later. Okay, so be prepared to clean my room with me but i really wanted to show you guys this coat that i just got from zara it looks like a trench style and it's coming up darker on camera but it is like a light beige color so i'm gonna be wearing this and i'm also gonna be wearing these jeans that i just got from zara they're a black wash they're actually really similar to the color that I showed you guys in the full length like split hem jeans, but these are, these stop at like your ankle. So this is not a mom style fit. This is actually called a slim fit, I think. There's 1% elastane, which means that it's a little bit stretchy. They're structured, but like a little bit stretchy. I tried these on you guys and the fit is chef's kiss like i want this style of jean in every single color i feel like these are way more flattering than the mom style jeans but the thing is they don't have these in a whole bunch of colors so they don't like they don't really come out at the knee like mom style jeans do they're more tapered I actually I don't think tapered is the word they're more slim down the bottom half of your leg and I think that's what I, that's the thing I don't like about mom jeans is how they kind of like are baggy around the knee I find that to be unflattering so these are exactly like my dream jean that's not a skinny jean that's still fitted kind of like you know and then I think I'm probably gonna wear my cream knit boat neck top that you guys have seen in that in one of those Zara hauls probably and probably some black boots these are old old boots from pretty little thing it is gloomy and cloudy outside today so it's kind of perfect chance for me to wear my coat I'm so excited so let's get dressed and head out and then I'll show you guys my outfit before we go Okay, so I decided to switch the top for a black bodysuit because I feel like the cream was throwing it off. But I'm wearing my hat, my new coat from Zara, a black Zara bodysuit, black jeans, black boots. Gold jewelry, jeans, and boots.
Okay, I just got back from Target and I picked up some cute things. Hopefully you guys like the little clips that I was including because Target has so many good things for like stocking stuffers and little gifts and especially for things, especially the type of things for people when you don't know what to get them. Um, I picked up some stuff for my sister, but I'm not going to show it because she might be watching this. So yeah, I feel like it was a very successful little shopping trip because I didn't get too many things because we know how Target can be. Target likes to tell us what we need. Um, so I'm about to head back. So we're gonna go back inside, get the room situated, and then we'll do a little catch up life update, kind of explain a little bit about why I've been a little inconsistent, open up to you guys a little bit, even though that makes us a little uncomfortable, but we're gonna do it. And we're back. It's time to get this mess together. Okay, I feel like that lighting is a little better. So I'm gonna start hanging out my clothes. I changed into, I changed into some cozies because as you guys saw, it's very cloudy outside. But honestly, I'm from the Bay Area and I'm used to cloudy weather around this time of year. So it kind of is comforting, not gonna lie. I'm kind of loving it. Um, so I'm soaking it all up. I opened up my window blind so that I can see all the lovely cloudiness and raininess outside and just catch the winter vibes. I picked up this blue, blue, blue. <laughs> I picked up this boucle skirt. Uh, I tried it on, it fits nicely. I got a size large, you guys know I always size up. This has no stretch, which is exactly why you need to size up um, but it has a zipper in the back and it's kind of like a it's a little I don't think you can see it but it has a little tiny bit of a shimmery sparkle in it love the little it has like a woven something woven into it, it has a little bit of a sparkle shimmery thing going on so this is going to be really cute for some holiday looks that I'm planning a video for I got this cute little sweater. I got it because it's nice. I feel like it's nice to have something that's like kind of special and a little like bougier than a basic sweatshirt. So you can still be comfortable and casual, but also it looks like you're going somewhere kind of a thing. So it has these little um, crystals sewn onto it black letters very dark gray it's kind of a boxy fit i got this in a large because i i knew that the shape of it was kind of weird and i wanted to be able to tuck it into my jeans like in the front and with that i plan i got these dark gray cargo sweats knowing that they may not be the same color but i decided to give it a go anyways they're not so you can see they're not exactly the same color so i don't think i'll be wearing them together i'll try them together i don't really know how i feel about that um so if they don't go together i may just exchange these for a black pair of cargo sweats but these are cute too got these in a large glad i did because stuff like this shrinks and if i would have gotten a medium it probably would have shrunk to be a little too more a little too small for what joggers or sweats should be and then I got those jeans that I showed you earlier. They're the Black Wash Slim Fit. Love these. They were more structured than I expected because they have that 1% elastane, um, but just enough stretch. Definitely more on the structured side, I would say. Size up. My hoodie. Oh. This is something I really wanted to show you guys because this is so cute. It's very basic and simple, but so cute. It's this, it's called Mink. It's a mink sweatshirt or hoodie and sweat set. My memory card ran out of memory, so if it looks different, that's why. The matching sweats, so cute. These are gonna look really cute under my beige jacket or coat. 
um, and I got the sweats and a lard. So holding it up next to the gray so that you can see what I mean, it's it's like a taupey grayish color. Love that. Okay, this set is so cute. I really wanted it in the beige color, but now that I have it in this like, they called it a, they actually called this beige, so I don't know, maybe the other color was like tan or something like that. But this is like a creamy color. Creamy marl beige is what I would call it. Now this is a matching set and it's very fuzzy and soft. I don't know if you guys can see how fuzzy and soft that is. But this is a sweatshirt and midi skirt. So it's a cropped sweatshirt, so cute, love that. And it has the little triangle on the front like a sweatshirt, like a crew neck would. And the little line detail or seam detail in the back. So I love this. This will also be really cute with jeans and many other things. And then the midi skirt, I got the midi skirt in a large and the sweatshirt in a medium for reference. So yeah, it's just a plain, no slit midi skirt, same material, really fuzzy and soft elastic band on the waist. And I got this in a large because, I don't know, I was scared it wouldn't fit. <laughs> Um, but really cute. This is going to look really cute with knee-high boots under that beige coat that I showed you guys. Mm. And let's see. Let's see. What else? What else? Did I get anything else? Dang. I felt like there was more than that. Was that it? Oh, well, I was going to show my knee-high boots in this haul. You guys have seen these styled by now, I think. But these are real leather knee-high boots. Love these. They zip on the inside right there. I sized up. I'm usually like an eight, eight and a half in some places, but I got these in a nine. I love my boots to be comfortable. And typically you wear socks with things like this. So I always size up because my true to size just never works in boots. Let's be honest. Yeah, I feel like that's it actually. I really thought I had more than that. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Anyways, now it's time to put them all away. she's looking much better and in case you guys are wondering I keep this clothing rack in my room right here because I put all my filming stuff on it and my stuff that I'm wearing throughout the week like my most common things so I guess you could say it's a little bit of a capsule wardrobe um, so now that that area is much more organized I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed looking much much better okay so let's chop it up for a minute um i wanted to kind of explain why i've been a little inconsistent i know you guys probably think it's just like 
the fact that I work a full-time job, I'm a mom and I'm trying to do YouTube as if that is not enough already. But um, there is like, so there is a little bit more to it. Uh, I did, and I, I think that I've mentioned this in a couple of my try on hauls just to kind of explain a little bit. Um, and I feel comfortable like talking to you guys about it because before when I would vlog or like try to talk to you guys, I feel like I didn't, it, it almost feels like you don't really know who you're talking to. And then that kind of feels fake and being fake is cringy to me. So I just, I was just a little uncomfortable, I guess you could say, but I feel like I talk to you guys a lot in the comments on Instagram and my DMs and stuff like that. So I feel like I know who I'm talking to now and I can like talk to you like I talk to you in my DMs and comments. So if you watch my channel a lot, you've been subscribed for a while, you know that I usually upload once a week or I try to upload once a week and I've been pretty consistent about that. But within the last probably couple of months, I've been sort of every other week mostly and sometimes every week, it really just depending. Part of that is because, so back in, right before I went to Idaho for the summer, so June, I guess you could say, June, I started having this really bad back pain and pain that went all the way down the back of my leg. Um, and I realized that it wasn't going away. It was just getting worse. It started really with just lower back pain, but I didn't really think anything of it because I've had lower back pain for off and on for several years now, probably having to do with the fact that, I don't know, I sold appliances and I would move really heavy things a lot and that could have something to do with it. Maybe late weightlifting, probably some of it not properly. I, I really don't know, to be honest. Um, but so I realized that I had this lower back pain, but it was starting to, the pain was starting to go down into the back of my right leg. And it, I thought like it would be kind of off and on. It wouldn't be constant or like all the time. So I was like, okay, you know, it's probably, I probably pulled a muscle or something. It's going to go away. Well, it started to progressively get worse and more painful. So I finally went to the doctor's office. Once I was in the point, once I was at the point of like, I cannot take this pain anymore. And I was taking pain killers like every, like a couple times, like every day or so. Um, I knew like, okay, like get your shit together and go to the doctor. So I went to the doctor and they told me that it was a most likely a pinched nerve, the sciatic nerve that goes down the back of your leg. And things like that typically can go away with physical therapy. So we did an x-ray. It didn't, it looked like there was, you know, a little bit of bulging in one of the discs. If you're not familiar with that, it's like you have in the, in your spine, you have a vertebrae, your disc, vertebrae, disc. And then in the, in the x-ray, it shows like a little bit of where that disc it's kind of like a jelly type of thing is how they explain it to me it can if it wears down it can bulge out to the sides and pinch your nerves right so i went to physical therapy for like a month and a half and it helped a lot like i was able to get through my day with only taking painkillers maybe like once which was a huge improvement i really i hate taking pills and i don't like putting stuff like that in my body so I felt so good about that. But the thing about it is that I could only improve so much. I still, he, he told me that I still had a lot of tension in my leg, so I couldn't fully extend it and I couldn't like get back to normal basically. So he said, okay, go back to your doctor and then we'll see if you come back to physical therapy after they figure out what else is going on. So I did an MRI and they found that I had more bulging than what it looked like in the first x-ray so basically like down on my tailbone there's a disc that's bulging and pin sitting on these nerves and like creating a lot of pain and and then going over that x-ray too they even said that there was a little bit of arthritis on those vertebrae bones so you know i'm like i'm 35 years old 
Okay, in case you didn't know, I'm 35 years old. They were like, you are so young to be going through something like this. So that is crazy. When I'm telling you guys, I can't walk down the street without being in pain. Like literally I can't stand for more than a few minutes without starting to feel like pain. Um, anyways, so I started, so we... So then I went in for a cortisone shot. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a steroid that they inject into that nerve to try to like reduce the swelling and the compression of it. So I did that a couple weeks ago. It helped a lot. But the weird thing is, but they also said that you can only get three of those a year, and usually people don't start to feel better until after the second injection, and that's, I've only had one so far. So after that, um, I felt it working right away. Like, I felt really good. I was like, okay, like, maybe I'm going to be back to normal. Um, but now I'm starting to feel like it's wearing off a little bit. So I do have another appointment. Hopefully the second injection will take care of that, but it's really unknown. It's different from person to person. If the injection will last the entire year for that person, wear off really quickly, or if it'll even work at all. Um, so I'm hopeful because it worked the first time. It's not definitely not like as strong as it was at first when I first had it. So that's a little worrisome, but long story short that was a long ass story long story short that is why i've been off and on because honestly it is so painful to put shoes on just the simple action of putting shoes on let alone boots girl the last video that i filmed when i was changing boots i could barely i could barely make it through okay and i'm telling you that like I have given birth to two children, so I can handle some pain. But when I tell you, I could barely get through putting those boots on and changing those outfits. That shit, that almost took me out. So that is why it's been really hard for me to film those kind of videos. And I'm really... Although I really want to be consistent, I also need to take care of myself and I need to listen to my body. I'm a mom, so I'm not only, I am not only responsible for myself, I have to be able to take care of my kids. <sighs> That's it. Going through something like this is really scary. I know you guys understand you guys are so sweet and make me feel so much better about it so I really appreciate all the really nice comments and everything that you guys say when I tell you that I'm like uploading late or whatever it is <sighs> wow I was not expecting that all right I had to like turn the camera off for one second because woo um anyways I am doing my best but I also wanted to switch up like i want to vlog more i have always been interested in vlogging but like i don't know i'm also private so y you can't really be both you know what i mean um hence why i'm spilling my freaking guts here but yeah i'm trying to do but i'm trying to include more vlogs i some of you ha expressed at the very beginning when i was vlogging that you guys really liked them and i appreciate that that just means that we're connecting okay so i love that for me and even if these aren't the kinds of videos that get a lot of views you know i'm sure with consistency people will start to engage with it so and i'm not really worried about that if you're watching it it's because you connect with me and you feel me right and so that's what I'm doing it for. But, um, so yeah, that's what I wanted to catch you guys up on. You guys have been so sweet about being, about giving me grace when I've been inconsistent. Um, and I feel really guilty about it. I hate it, but yeah, it, it just is what it is for right now. But I'm doing as much as I can. So well, anyways, we are going to go to a Christmas thing later so i'll probably take you guys there i will catch up with you guys when we're heading out
So I'm filming a Zara haul today and it is the middle of a work day for me. So I'm doing this on a slow day and I'm gonna put on my little press on nails. I've been using press on nails now since I have that allergic reaction to powder, gel, whatever it is that they were putting on my nails. I can't get those anymore because my hands swell and get a rash and all of that. So I picked these up from Target. I've used them before and I really like them because the tips of them are nude. So they look really nice, like natural nude color. They are a little bit long, but I'm not mad at it. So, so I'm gonna put these on right now before I start filming my Zara haul that I was telling you guys about. And I figured you could see how I do that. I don't know, I'm not necessarily gonna give like a step to step-by-step -step tutorial or anything like that, but I'll let you guys kind of like watch me while I put them on. Okay, finished my nails. They're not perfect, but honestly, I like it better than having nothing on my nails, so I will take it. Um, I'm setting up to do my Zara haul right now, and I've actually been filming in my room lately instead of where I usually film in my other videos, and I really like filming the sit down part in my room because I feel like the light is more natural in here, so you get less of that artificial light but I like the full view, like the clip of the full outfit better where I had it before. I think it looks nicer with the white curtain and all of that stuff, so I'm, but I can't use that space right now because we have our Christmas tree there, which is why you guys are seeing my bedroom carpet in my full body clips, which I don't like, but that's what we're working with for now until Christmas stuff gets put away, but this is the door to my bathroom and this is the wall. There's the TV. See, I moved my rack from over there to right here. So I'm going to get this all set up with my little ring light right there. And then, and then after that, I'm going to finish working because I'm also working. <laughs> and then I don't know why I'm whispering. Nobody can hear me. It's virtual. <sighs> I just finished filming my Zara haul. I'm about to show you the mess that I leave behind every time I film. It's disgusting. There it is. Watch my jagger, might lose my 
jacket and hit the solo one time. We too loud in public, the police turn down the function. Now we outside and the time is perfect. Forgot to tell you, gotta tell you how much I buy with you. Now that we're all caught up, you know what I've gone through and why, really why I've been taking a long break. I really just needed to recover. But the biggest announcement that we have is that we just got a house. We closed on a house. Um, we are building a new house. We just closed a couple days ago and we have our site picked out. We are going through the new build process in Arizona, if you guys don't know where we are. And um, I'm documenting the process. We are going to the design center to pick out our finishes, but I really just wanted to tell you guys that because I have so much exciting new content to come. Fashion will still be here, okay? We have a Zara haul coming next week, so don't worry. But um, I'm hoping to, with this new build, I'm hoping to have good content that I can include two videos a week and maybe one of those will be vlogs. And one of them will be fashion. I know that I've said that I wanted to do this before and I've tried and it hasn't quite worked out, but I think with this process, there's a lot to share, a lot going on. We're gonna have home decor things eventually, just so much exciting stuff. Yeah, that's it. We're finally moving out of our apartment and into our house, which is what we've been, what we came here for. We've been waiting for this for a long time and we are just so excited. So I hope you guys stick along for the process and and come in and get to know the family a little bit more you know get to know the personal side of me i know you guys love my hauls and stuff like that but this is a little bit more insight on some new exciting content that i can add to my channel building a home is very exciting and building from scratch really from the ground up so it's going to be probably about a 10 month process um but there's gonna be a lot to share and I can't wait. And um, I haven't said anything. I'm, kind of, I'm the kind of person that doesn't really like to say anything until it's happened already. So I didn't really wanna, it's kind of like jinxing it, you know, you don't wanna talk about it before it actually goes through and happens. So we closed, so it's really happening. I can share it now. Um, I do have some clips from the first appointment, so I'll kind of talk you through what that was like so that you guys can kind of so you guys can kind of understand the process. What's up the you guys? So today is a very exciting day. I'm going down to a building site and I'm gonna be selecting uh, a floor plan that we wanna build and basically get the process starting of building a house. I'm gonna be sharing you guys, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the process as we go along because I feel like, I feel like the details of the process of building a house with a builder um, a large builder that's building multiple developments is not really shared or talked about or explained a lot. So this is, and this is gonna be my first time going through this process, so I really wanna share with you guys what it looks like, what the process is, all the ups and downs that are probably gonna come along the way. <laughs> Hopefully not too many. Um, Dante's not coming with me today because he's actually working out of state, but I am going to be Zooming with my parents while I'm there. I'm going to the office basically today to select the structural upgrades, which is the first step that you of things that you have to select before you put down your earnest money and um, basically select your site, um, select your floor plan that you're building on and lock it in. So when you lock in, your purchase, you have to start by selecting what structural upgrades you're going to do. And that's things like the bathroom configurations, you know, the windows and door configurations like sliding doors, etc. Things like that. Things that you can't change during the design process that really like outline what your build will look like. So like I said, I'm going to be zooming with my parents. They have experience building multiple homes with um, a great builder and we all come from some sort of like housing background kind of. My dad is a real estate agent, my mom is a interior designer. 
I worked on coordinating remodels. Collectively, we bring a lot to the table. So we're gonna go do that, have that appointment, make the first selections and move forward. So I'm excited to bring you guys along and I hope you guys enjoy and find it useful, helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll plot it here in a little bit. That way you can see how it's gonna look on the plot plan, but let's go through the structural options. Or did you wanna um, add the generation suite? We do, yes. Perfect, perfect, okay. Do you wanna do gourmet or executive kitchen? Um, so we were talking a little about, about what the difference is. Can mm -hmm. you tell us between the gourmet and the executive? So gourmet, if you look here, like the difference, so let me make it, okay. So um, gourmet kitchen, you get your microwave and your oven off to the side and you get your chimney as well. Mm -hmm. With the executive, you get a double oven and then you get your uh, microwave over here on this side. So oh, if you really are, like to cook or have a big family, you're going to do a lot, yeah, double oven. No, I would say gourmet. 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 Yeah. Okay, yeah. I agree. Yeah. And then it gives you the, the chimney anyway with the gourmet as yeah. well, so it looks really, really nice. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, so um, we got the extended covered patio here that you can add or you can leave it as a standard. So the spa bath is, you have to select that to change the configuration mm -hmm. and then the other ones are on top of that. Correct, yeah. Okay. All right, so coming in here, you got the foyer, you got your powder room, you got the coat um, the storage there. And then you have your optional shower on the Generation Suite. It's one of those like, um, you know, standard shower, uh, shower tub combo. We wanted to do two sinks. Yeah, I think that's best. I have two kids. So. Addition, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I know. They both want to be brushing their teeth at the same time. That's what I said. I was, we were talking about that, and I said, well, they want to go in and brush their teeth at the same time. There's no room if there's one sink. Yeah. Finally, we came to a floor plan that we liked. We picked one that we could have a guest suite downstairs because living in Arizona, we don't have family close to us, so we're really excited to have a guest suite and have people come stay when they visit. We selected the floor plan. They did not have a model of the floor plan that we picked out, but they had a spec home, which is basically like um, pre-selected finishes and a pre-designed house that they're building that they will sell. It's not a model, but it's basically they're building it the way that they want to build it and design it, and then they will sell it to somebody as kind of like a ready-to-build thing. It's kind of like a ready to build, a faster build, if you will, than building from the ground up and choosing everything. So I toured the spec. I liked the floor plan. The next step is then to speak with someone in the office. You know, you, you have to find out which lots they have open. So you get to select the lot. Some of those lots come with lot premium prices, depending on which one you get. Um, ours had a lot premium because we don't have any neighbors behind us, which was a plus for us. And um, so you have your floor plan picked, you select the lot that you want, and then you have to select your structural upgrades before you put your down payment down. The structural upgrades are things that have to be selected beforehand because they really create the mold for your home. So for example, if you're adding an extended slider door in your living room, that has to be a structural upgrade selected before you put your down payment. So we did a few structural upgrades. You also have to select an elevation. An elevation is the style of the outside of the home and there's an upgrade price for that as well if you go outside of what the standard is. So you'll notice that a lot of the models that you tour, you can count on pretty much everything being an upgrade. Um, I mean, that's how they sell you and make you fall in love is they upgrade everything and then the things that you want cost more. So that's kind of the way that it works. But yeah, so we didn't go with the standard elevation. We selected an upgraded elevation. You get to select the color. They have color selections for what type of elevation you pick. So you select the outside colors. Other things like extra doors and the guest suite that we added. Um, it was originally just a bedroom, but we added a living room space to the guest suite. Instead of having a three car garage, we wanted that space to be added to the guest suite. So that's what we did. And, um, so 
I went into this appointment and that's basically what we were talking about in the appointment is all of the upgrades or structural upgrades that we were selecting. Once you've selected the structural upgrades that you want, they put that into the contract and then that brings your base price up to however much more you've added for your structural upgrades. They say that usually when people are done building, you've probably spent about an extra 20 to 25% in upgrades, and that's structural and design upgrades included. So when you're going into buying a new build home, you have to consider an extra 20 to 25% on top of your base price to make sure that you either pre-qualify for that amount or you know that you have enough cash if you're paying all cash for the amount that you want to build the home that you want so count on at least 20 to 25 percent at least that's what i've been told there are ways to save money but we can get into that later you sign the contract we had to sign it within like 24 hours i think and then you put twenty thousand down or at least at least that's how it was for our builder um, you put twenty thousand down and then after you've put 20,000 down, then you go on to make your appointments with a design center. Our builder gives you two appointments and they're four hours long each. You'll find that with different builders, they give you a different number of appointments that are longer. Some give less appointments, some offer more if you need it. But to start, we know we'll have at least two four hour appointments, um, which I'm fine with because I know what I want and my mom's helping me. My mom is an interior designer and she knows what I like. So, she, and she's been through this process a couple times. So I feel like I'm in a good position having someone who's very experienced and also me working with a lot of real estate related things, kind of knowing what I want and because it's, it can be, it's probably going to be a very overwhelming process, but yeah, so We've gotten through the part where we've signed the contract, put the earnest money down, and we're about to go into our design center appointment. So I can't wait to show you guys the design center and bring you guys along for that process where you get to see the best part, which is picking out countertops and tile and flooring and things like that. Literally the best part. It's like putting jewelry on your outfit. <laughs> um, once you go into your design center appointments and you've selected all your design upgrades, you also pay, I believe they said 20% of those upgrades. So you have the 20,000 down, or at least we have the 20,000 down in earnest money when we sign the contract. And then once you select your design upgrades, then you put 20% down of those upgrades. So really you're putting two deposits down. You're putting the 20,000 down at first and then another 20% of the design upgrades that you select the next following however long, a like couple weeks later. Um, so keep that in mind too, 20,000 plus 20% of your design upgrades, or at least that's the way it works with our builder. Anyways, yeah, that's where we've been. I hope you guys are excited for some home decor, you know, home what's the word I'm looking for? Like lifestyle content. That's what I really want to get into on top of my fashion content. I really want more lifestyle content. And this is like, I'm, I'm just like burning with all these ideas that I want to do. Um, anyways, I hope you guys forgive me for being gone for a month. <laughs> that was not expected, but it was definitely needed for my mental health, my physical health. And we are kicking off next weekend with a Zara haul of all hauls. So stay tuned and thank you so much for sticking along, even though I've been missing for a minute. I really appreciate it and love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.